as we try to get them out. That's not too shabby. Hey guys, this is Megan from You Go To Be Kidding. Uh, today, Caleb and I are out here collecting our sweet potatoes for the year. So we've already started and it looks really encouraging, which is super awesome. Uh, we also have a bunch of rain coming this week, uh, which is a huge blessing, but I don't want to leave the sweet potatoes in the ground. So I'll show you what we've done so far and uh, then you can watch us get the rest of them. So this is our little sweet potato patch. We've pulled back the vines for most of it at this point. Um, we're digging up some really big ones, which is so exciting. For these, we have this five gallon bucket half full and this whole stack here. And we definitely have several plants to go. So it looks like they did really well. We use this little cart here. We'll shove all the greens in there and get them to the chickens. Now I know that sweet potato greens are actually edible. We just haven't gotten there yet. Um, I didn't even think about it. So we should have been like harvesting them while we were working. But yeah, this soil. So this is what our dirt looks like after just um, the mulch. I mean, this is wood chips and it's broken down. There would have been a little bit of compost underneath, but this section I think was mostly like hay compost. And so a couple years later, I mean, this is beautiful, dark dirt and just wood chips. We've never had any issues that the wood chips kind of get mixed in or anything. Come on. And we're getting some awesome sweet potatoes. So. Like yep. All right, so here's another plant worth. Trying not to scratch them. As we try to get them out. That's not too shabby. And then we'll double check down in here to make sure there aren't any more. All right, Caleb, did you get some? Yep. What do you have? Find any more? No, no more right there. No right there? But there were some over there. Okay. All right, here, why don't you come check right here? Um, I think, that, oh, there's some right here. They have all of those roots. It seems like most of the sweet potatoes come right under the plant. And even when the roots go out, I haven't necessarily found any potatoes on the roots longer. Yeah. But we're doing a pretty good job. We'll show you what we got at the end. Um, and then show you how we uh, kind of dry them out so they don't. All right, so our bucket's almost full already. And there's a bunch of big pile sitting on the ground. So we've still got more to go. All righty, we're all done. Space is clear. And we have a five gallon bucket overflowing. Oh, woo -wee. It is humid today, so it's sweaty. But um, we finished the sweet potatoes and then I actually just real quick smoothed it out and threw some carrot seeds down. And um, I wanna show you real quick this section we cleared out of our kind of wild tomatoes. Um, and kind of show you what the rest of our garden looks like. It's definitely kind of fading, but we still have quite a bit of stuff. Um, and I'm trying to get some uh, carrots in the ground for this fall. So uh, I'll, I'll turn the camera around here and show you what we've got. All right, so we've got um, watermelon. We were able to harvest four watermelon. Um, two of them were really good. We actually have one left in the fridge. My cucumbers, one is there and very sad. I don't know if I got some beetles, probably. Um, they didn't water right. My trellis was very half-hearted because I had let um, this section of tomatoes go crazy. So you can see I've really cut them back. This whole section was the tomatoes have grown all the way out to the edge of the garden. I cut those back uh, recently. There's one little carrot that had seeded itself and it's grown strong, but I planted that bed with carrots and I just planted the sweet potato bed here with some carrots. Um, we've got the peppers. Several of my plants have fallen over. I guess I'm just gonna have to use tomato cages with them next year. Uh, they keep falling over and getting ruined. The tomatoes are still there, they're a little scarce. Um, but this wild section actually has quite a few tomatoes still in it too. So uh, this is the last bit of section that was all wild grown. I did cut back from the peppers. And again, you can see they're all just like flopping over. We've got some tomatoes. There's a very happy basil plant in there, which actually is going to seed now. 
some more tomatoes in here. And then I planted all these potatoes, three rows. And this is the sad, sad, meager ones that have popped up. So I'm hoping that the rain this week will actually kind of spur these to grow. We still have some time before the first frost. So maybe just maybe we'll get some potatoes out of here. But we have really had sad potato harvest this year. Um, but the sweet potatoes did really well. So this is what we've got going. Thanks for joining us. And hopefully I'll be able to report back that my carrots did really well. Um, we have not. This is the first time I'm trying to fall planting. So hopefully they do well. And thanks for watching. All right, so. Yes, that's yeah, I don't know. We might be able to just cut off part of that one. All right, rinse it off. So the girls are helping me rinse them off. I know some people say not to do this, but I don't want all the mud on them. So we rinse them off really gently. Then we set them up on a shelf to dry um, and to cure the skins. So that's how we do it. It worked for us last year. I'm sure I'm doing it wrong. <laughs> I don't know, uh, but it works. So. And that looks actually. Yeah, that one looks pretty funny. Um, we can cut them up and see if we can salvage half of it because the bottom half looks okay. That's tiny. Or it might just go to the chickens. That's okay. Alrighty. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with the harvest we got today. These are weird. Yeah, I know they're funny looking, funny shapes. It's cool. Uh, it's yeah. like a tomato. It's like a, t wait, that's like a tomato? Yeah. How is that like that's a tomato? That's like a tomato. Oh, the end. Okay. Yeah. Oh. The end. Okay.